Small and thin. Small and thin. Small and thin. Televisions. iPads. Tablets. Phones. USB DAC headphone amplifiers. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, the SMSL M2. It is exactly, exactly the size of a credit card. And 10 millimeters, one centimeter, or three eighths inch thick. Now, when I bought this, it was branded as a portable headphone amp, which usually means take your phone, plug your phone in with, you know, one of these, and then you plug your headphones in and it amplifies it with an internal battery. This is not that kind of portable headphone amplifier because it's a DAC headphone amplifier. What this in is intended to do is hook up to your portable player and be the DAC and amp off its power. So, there's no internal battery. It has to be powered via USB. And you could do that through a computer. You could just run a computer and run a mini USB to it and she'll light up and run. Or you get an adapter wire and I've got a long one here. They come real short. And this is mini to micro male USB. And this son of a bitch was $10. But you can get a cheaper one than that. It's a Lindy. A Lindy cable. So what you would do is you'd plug the mini end in here and this micro end you'd plug into your Android 4.0 or higher device and once you do that if you have the right app this will completely take over all the audio on the phone at least in that app I am I couldn't buy it I couldn't get the thing I couldn't borrow someone's phone they're all being bastards to me but I know it works because I've read the reviews the other reviews and since I know it works there, I could review it here via Windows and give you my impressions on it. Ooh, a red power LED. Red! The proper color. Now, what does it have on it? Well, on the back side, if you can even call this the back, it has a single USB in. And on the front side, it's got a power indicator, the headphone out, which is controlled via this small little volume slider, and this line out slash optical out. So, that means you could plug this into a surround receiver and give PCM audio straight to another DAC, or you can line out it to an amplifier, just like that. So that means you can do, well, adapter's gotta come off. That. What that does is powers the headphone amplifiers via an adjustable knob, and this outputs a constant two volts to an amplifier. Now, if this is gonna play, it's gonna ask me which one I want to use. I want to use the SMSL. All right, it should be playing. Put the volume up on the amp. Let me lower that down now. Let's see if it's playing here. Yes, it is. So now, <laughs> this is probably, and I'm not kidding you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here's the ODAC. Here's the ODAC. You want to get a size comparison of this fat, job of the hut size DAC. This is the RCA version. The regular version is actually a little bit smaller. But uh, in comparison, the M2 is that much smaller. Ridiculous. There is no better small DAC than this. It, it, it's, it's miraculously good also for powering headphones. I mean, granted, these aren't the most hard to drive headphones. Am I going to crush anything? To a song that isn't under recorded like a, ba like a beast. Yeah, okay, uh, that's fucked. That takes it up so loud. Painfully loud on USB power. The power consumption claimed by the specs here are half a watt. Less than 0.5 watt. 
So I don't know how... It was supposed to be powered by your phone. So they can't destroy your phone battery. So I don't know how you get half a watt. And then make it be a DAC that can output two volts. And power headphones to the point of destruction. At least efficient headphones. And then make it the size of a credit card. Precisely. It's the size of a, it's the size of a credit card. Do I have a credit card? Take my wallet out. Oh, even better than a credit card. An Outback gift card. Look at that. It is the size of an Outback gift card. Don't you want to say that to your friends and family? Hey, I got a DAC, an amp that's the size of an Outback gift card. So I'm not just going to recommend this for portable people. I'm going to recommend this for people who have desks and full-size computers. The DAC in it is really good. It's not as good as the ODAC. I mean, I have... This is my setup at home, right here. Alright? For comparison's sake. This is my ODAC. It's the RCA version, so it's a little more money. It's like $150 for this. And this is the SMSL uh, SAP2 headphone amp. And this on its own is like $70 or $60. I think it dropped to 60 And when I went from this to this for like a week... I could hear the difference in cl clarity of the DAC, sure. But I did not miss the headphone amp. I don't have hard to drive headphones. I have this and I have the NBXs, which are the same thing. And I just got a pair of Hi Feynman 300s that are still coming in, they'll get a review. And uh, I'm sure it's gonna power them fine. This is a monster. This is a monster with a, with a goddamn micrometer to measure it. How, how do they do it? How is it in here? What's in here? What secrets does it hold? Buy this for your computer. Put it in your pocket. Put it in your laptop bag. And if you have an Android phone and you want to buy the app, which I believe is called USB Audio Player, or you just search USB Audio Player for Android. And you buy this wire, the mail to mail thing. I'll link to this because it was a pain to find. And I actually bought one by mis I bought a wrong one by mistake. I don't want you guys to do that. If you could power... If this could come out of your phone, if what I'm hearing here could come out of your phone, your phone would be fucking awesome. Period. Just awesome. Your phone would be the best thing ever. It would just be the coolest... I could tell from where the volume knob is in it that this is outputting 2 volts full. And if I switched my headphone into that, you could hear that it's putting out 2 volts full. It's just an amazing, 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 amazing... Oh. I just... Oh, I'm grounding up the thing. Alright, yeah. No. Yeah, no. Amazing. Other than that, whatever the hell I just did. Yeah. I was pushing down too hard now. You could Velcro this son of a bitch to the side of your monitor. And just control the volume there. Well, I'd do it this way, so the up is up. Now volume up is up, and that's down. It's a little bit recessed, but I think that's good so you don't damage it. Oh, look how tiny this is. And it's so well made. The little aluminum shell, it weighs nothing. The only thing smaller than this is probably the dragonfly. The dragonflies. And the dragonflies don't have fiber optic. They have has a spit if out. A spit if and a line out and a headphone out and a red LED. Gotta bless red LEDs. All these blue ones can go to hell. So yeah, am I excited about this and giving it away? Well, I'm excited about it. I'm not excited about giving it away because I took this everywhere the last two weeks. It's been on vacation with me and I'm like, oh, look at this. What the hell is that little black box? I could Velcro this to the top of my full laptop, just right up there and put a little wire and it wouldn't bother me in the slightest. I don't like the ones that stick out. No, oh, look at that thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So if you buy a headphone amp, a, uh, it's not my bad, desktop amp, and you want a DAC, this is going to be in the DAC recommendations list as not only for a DAC DAC, but as a headphone amp, amp, DAC, and uh, it's, I may have to buy another one, and that sort of sucks, because I keep filling my room with things. Things pile up. 
things. All those will be nice small thing. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. Like the mono price dock amp here. It's good. It's very good. It impressed me. It, well, it didn't really impress me. I, I tolerated it and its faults. And I like the fact that it has options, although some of them are dumb. But if we're going to go about this, we're going to David and Goliath this. This impressed me more than this for the sheer size reduction. I'm sure it won't power DT990s at 250 ohms. But you shouldn't expect that anything to unless you're carrying around a giant brick. Maybe an O2 with the batteries. So we got this with batteries and then, you know, a DAC and then, you know, your phone. Maybe you have a chance. But this thing on its own is goddamn amazing. It's too bad that the uh, the line out is in front and not in the back because then you would just have headphones, volume, and then you'd have everything else in the back. But, you know what? It sounds so good. It sounds so good. SMSL is my favorite brand on the internet. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna play favorites with them. Send me all your stuff, SMSL. I wanna review it. You know, I just have like piles of their gear now. Piles. Piles of their SMSL stuff. So this is the most impressive thing I've heard in a long while, as far as desktop, amp, DAC things. This is okay. This passable for a hundred bucks. This for sixty or sixty-five, seventy. I don't remember how much this cost me. All I know is it's worth every penny of it, of its lightweight smallness. It came in this giant box. I'm like, oh my god, giant box. And really, the box is taken up mostly by the USB cable it comes with, which for some reason is that. Why? Why the hell on earth are you giving me a white? 1998 Dell USB cable SMSL. Alright? Want to know the flaw in the SMSL? There it is. Uh, I like that it has a little choke on it, but come on. It's black. It's the, it's the age of black. Black everything with red LEDs. Alright. That. That son of a bitch. That's what you 